metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. rings are back where they belong, sir. Space Janitor Squad does it again. Well, if somebody hadn't taken the ship without permission and had a demolition derby with a ring system, we wouldn't have had to do all that work. I did not take the ship without permission. I just fell asleep at the wheel. That's even worse. Look at this, my heroic friends. Congratulations! Seems all our hard work helping the galaxy has been getting a little attention. Space Janitor Squad saves the day. Space Janitor Squad mops up. I say yes to the SJS. Finally, real superheroes. Woohoo! We're honest to goodness celebrities. This is just horrible. Somebody tell me why I look so terrible in all those pictures. There's nothing horrible about this. It's actually very good. And we have been asked to give an interview this very evening! In prime time! Everyone will love the Space Janitor Squad! You really think they're gonna love us? Wearing these filthy, stinky uniforms? Wally falls asleep at the wheel, huh? and I get humiliated on TV! Well, I can fix that. I'll wipe off the space crud. Hmm. You'll see that Wally can actually get it right sometimes. <laughs> How do you think you get clothes clean? Oh! Hin! Hin! Huh? What's up? Is it a space apocalypse? What? Uh, uh, say, could I count you to get back to sleep? No time for that. Come look. It's awful! Sweet sauerkraut! Dumgav sheep, what have you done? I washed them. How was I supposed to know the super costume colors would run? Yeah, I warned them about that cheap cotton polyester blend. Coro is better. Huh? Wally! The TV station called. We're going on the air soon! We need our costumes!
They just need another minute. They're almost dry now. <laughs> In. Oh, please help. Otherwise, I'm finished. All right, I suppose that I could dye them all again. That might just solve your problem, right? Oh, Pin, I just knew you wouldn't let me down. Have you still got leftover dye for every color costume? Nine, but it's all right. I only really need three colors. We can make as many colors as we like as long as we start with the big three primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. If we mix yellow and blue, we get green. If we mix red and yellow, we get orange. And if we mix red and blue, we get purple. But orange and purple giraffes don't exist. That's right. I exist only as an example in an animated science show. But I take some comfort in the fact that I might teach a child the concept of combining colors. Uh, hope they at least gave you lunch. Red plus green, and we get brown. And if we mix brown with blue, we get black. <gasps> oh. And if we add red with purple, we'll get pink. Hmm? Uh, thanks, but I think I'd rather just stay purple. Yellow plus green would we get an olive color. Brown plus orange we get terracotta. Green plus blue and... Hey, Pin, thanks a lot. I got it. We just need primary colors. Shall we get to it? All right, I know it's here somewhere. No, that's not it. No, that's it. No. Uh, no, is it? No. Uh, oh, is it? Uh, Think quick. Mm. Uh. Think quicker. No. Think quickest. Uh. Okay, that was not quick. What else can we use to make blue pigment? There's indigo ferro. It's a plant that can only be found growing in a couple of tropical countries in Asia. That'd work. But that's, uh, pretty far from here, right? Well, not really by universal standards. It's just a couple dozen million kilometers, give or take. <laughs> Wally? What's going on in here? Ten minutes till the show! Where are our super uniforms? Um... Just five minutes more. <laughs> Just need to iron them, that's all. You better not do anything to ruin the beautiful birth of my television career! Well, that's that. <laughs> Just wash them all together, huh? <laughs> In the machine? <laughs> that wasn't smart! You could leave them like that. They look funkyish, right? Modern! <laughs> Your laundry skills are horrible, my dear friend, but it's pretty darn funny, isn't it? <laughs> Wally, <gasps> open this door! Oh. Where's my super costume? All right, men. You said you need blue pigment, right? Mm -hmm. I know how we can make all this right. <laughs> Up until the 20th century, all pigments were produced from plants and minerals. Getting the pigment you wanted wasn't always easy, because plants and minerals only occurred in certain locations. For example, for years, the only source of the bright red pigment for the color carmine, or cinnabar, required insects that lived on cactuses. That's fascinating and everything, but we're looking for blue pigment here? Indigo, a famous deep blue pigment, was once produced from the leaves of the rare Asian plant Indigofera. Because it was one of the most permanent dyes produced in nature, indigo became very popular. Now, more than 20,000 tons of this pigment is produced every year. The majority of it is used for dyeing blue jeans. 
Of course, if we still needed indigo ferra to produce the indigo pigment, we would have to grow these plants all over the world. Fortunately, toward the end of the 19th century, Adolf von Bayer, the German scientist, discovered an artificial substitute for producing indigo pigment. Then we don't need to make a trip to Asia after all? We can get our hooves on blue pigment made artificially? Yes, we can! Wally, open up! I know you're in there! If you have messed up my super uniform, I swear I'll... Rosa, there's no need to keep bellowing threats. Your super uniform is in perfect shape. I cleaned them up, just like I said. We are going on air in five seconds. Four seconds, three, two... Wally, maybe you're kind of all right. Sometimes I surprise myself. And we're on! Space Janitor Squad, suit up! Joining us from their starship is the Space Janitor Squad, and for the very first time, the whole world will see them live on their television. Thanks for being here, Space Janitors. Uh, is there a problem? Huh? <laughs> We were so concerned about the costume colors that we didn't even think of the possibility of their shrinking. You're not exactly catching us at our best. Wally! <laughs> Everything's fine. I can make the costumes unshrink, I'm sure. Perhaps the members of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences enjoyed wearing jeans, because in 1905, they awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Adolf von Bayer for his research. And for the synthesis of indigo, he was raised to hereditary nobility by the King of Bavaria, enabling him to use the von prefix before his last name.